dramatic opening. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> there he is. How we doing? Good morning to you. Jace Roberts. Yeah, yeah. Proud of the man. Thanks for yeah, having us. Good to see you. Looking forward to it, man. Or what, 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 what kind of duck hunt are we getting into today? I'm saying wood ducks and mallards. So I have a plan. We're going to shallow water, but if we can't make it, right. we'll go somewhere else. I like that plan, James. I'm not 100% <laughs> sure we will make it to the destination. I'm not 100% so. sure anything. Well, you're going to fit in nicely. All right, man. We got a little lane cut out here. There's the blind. This is great. Uh, and look, it's cold enough to where you don't have to worry about the snakes, but I would still watch where I sat down. All right. Cold. This ain't too cold. Cold enough to keep them snakes down, though. This is our war paint, but actually the number one thing I've learned in duck hunting is better to be hid right. than sound great on a duck call. You want in? I got a face mask. All right. Face yeah. mask works. Love it. Perfect. Love it. Yeah. Well, we're going to get along great. All right. Uh, kind of have a routine here. What about them three flying right there? Woodies. Woodies? Wood ducks. But they're big wood ducks. They are big. I love how quick you can, like, identify them. Yeah, it's just... all about that wing beat. <laughs> this thing has a series of breaks in it. I, you're kind of manipulating that to get the sound. So if you put pressure on it, <laughs> that's one level. You put more pressure. Pop. Looks easy to do, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> People don't think you can uh, call wood ducks, but we fixed to prove that wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, they're turning. I'm telling you what, now we wore them out. <laughs> Now we'll have to pick them up. Yep. Get that dog working. Good dog. We give people a chance that they're blowing a duck call and they're not coming in. Right. We're like, put that thing in your pocket. It's time to stop. Yeah, <laughs> you're a shooter, not a caller. <laughs> well, today I'm a shooter too. Yeah. That's one thing I gotta put the time in. If they can't shoot either, well then they turn into a scout. Right. They just then they turn into color. a bird dog. Yep, or a bird dog. <laughs> I don't know where. Cut him right there. Not bad. We got a nice little meal ahead of us, guys. You know, any day you go out hunting and get something is a good day for me. All right, Jason, we got our two wood ducks that we're going to be cooking with today. I'm going to make you a little lunch, all right, for having me down here. I think it's, it had a beautiful morning. Yeah. I'm going to make you a little duck ramen for lunch, bud. I love it. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so we got one of our two duck bodies left. I removed the legs, removed the wings, removed the head. Now we're just left with our carcass. Instead of throwing this away, let's build a stock. Shallot, some garlic, a little celery, a carrot. We got some mushrooms. You know, like just adding these nice little earthy aromatic notes. I mean, it just kind of, it pairs really well with, with wild duck. I mean, they go right in there, get real happy. And then a little lemongrass. Oh, Chase, you like lemongrass? Let me see. Put the old snooze in there, bud. Let me take a look. Yeah, Let me take a little look-see here. There, take a little look-see. You see. know what they say, where there's a dead carcass, there the vultures will gather. For this to have really happened is quite impressive. I'm sensing a dynamic duo here. Cooking in the blind. Look, I got a sneaky suspicion I'm that this is going to be good. I was taught by a chef, you, put it, you start it in a cold pan and it stops it from cupping up on you. Yeah. So you're on a cold pan, as, it, as everything starts to heat and render, you'll get a nice crispy skin, lose yeah. that fat, and then the meat, yeah, you just kind of cook it nice, perfectly pink. Oh, wow. Almost like a venison. This is the language that, that I speak. I think in a previous life, I lived in the South. This is living to me. This is awesome. And I love trying new ways to eat duck. There's more flavors bursting in my mouth than I've experienced in, well, ever. <laughs> well, heck yeah, man, well, thank you. I appreciate that. 
One of those spices I put in here has got some heat. <laughs> and I love it. It warmed the soul all right the way up, down. Man. That's the move. Well, hey, man, cheers. Hey. Appreciate it again. And oh, uh, this was a yeah. joy. Yeah, until next time. <laughs>